Well, both primaries are in parallel. Secondaries are in series. So the input or output of that high voltage coil goes into the ground of that one. And the output of that one goes to the ground of this one. For uh, 4,000 volts with 120 volts input. I haven't gotten up to 120 volts yet. I've gotten up to about 100. And it pulls about 30 amps. Which is a little... Uh, uh, past what my system is capable of right now, but I can take it for a little while. So let's get to take a look at it. I'm not going to take it to 4,000 volts yet, but it'll probably be about 3,500. See what it looks like. I don't know if you'll be able to see that uh, gauge or not, but yeah, it goes at about 30 amps. Let's see. 50 volts on the primaries. 60 volts on the primaries, which should be 2,000. Maybe a little less with uh, the added load. S 75 volts on the primaries. It kind of looks like a normal 2000 volt arc. Steady 25 amps. That pulls about 35 amps initially. For safety, shut it off and unplug it. That's pretty good though. It's a nice uh, size arc. I haven't even gotten to a full primary voltage yet, but that would uh, completely exceed um, what this thing's capable of. My transformer can take it. This will take, uh, uh, it says it'll take 30 watt or uh, 30 amps peak and 25 continuous. But it could take a little more. I had to get rid of this board. Here, I'll try one more time with the camera on the transformer. You can hear the transformer noises. 75. Hundred volts, which is what we did last time. Should be able to take that for quite some time because um, that's about before I was pulling about 20 amps on one transformer, 25, and it only worked for I don't know five minutes, and you'd start to get a lot. And uh, well, now I've got about 29 amps between two transformers. This setup I could run it at 2,000 volts as if it were one transformer, and pretty much get an limitless um, short circuit. Should never overheat at that because I got two transformers in the job that one would normally do. And these are pretty decent transformers to begin with. Fifty volts on the primaries.
Standby current's only one amp. Capacitor is shorted. So, well, the wires are a little thin. They have to bend. I need to some better ones. That's pretty nice, though. Both of these on 60 volts. Probably have taken up to 70 volts, which would get me know, probably 2300 volts out, which this capacitor might be capable of. Yeah, 2200. So I could have gone a little bit higher, but the amperage was exceeding my uh, limits. I don't think it got warm, but now it's still stone cold. But it's just momentary. Yeah, let's check the primary, see if they're even warm. Barely even warm, yeah. It's not bad. Alright, well, that's it for now. Just wanted to see if I could do it. Gotta get some thicker cables. Get some house wiring in here.